Moving forward requires moving on from what once was, from that sight, that smell, that person, that place that you, you knew that was so pure and nostalgic and something that you want to hold on to. In order to move forward, you have to let go. I'm making this video largely because of where I'm at, and, and if you haven't seen my recent video where I discuss the entirety of all the changes that have occurred to me this year and in my life, then I would highly recommend checking that out first and foremost because I moved out for the first time and naturally as time has passed and I've had a few weeks here, I've had this sensation of the homesickness and missing my home, missing my parents, a place that I called home for my whole life, right? The, the trails I would walk on, the places I would drive to, the people I would see, the stores right next to me, the, the smells when I would go outside, the, even like the, the trees, the mountains nearby, like there's so much that I miss about that time and about who I was. I've, I've been thinking a lot about last year and where I was at and how disciplined I was in the form of working out constantly and having such a structure to my life. Wake up, I go to my job, I come home for a bit, you know, eat a little bit, go to the gym, go work out, go write, go read, make a video. Like it was this very consistent routine and good habits that I was building, but everything flipped on its ear this year. And so naturally there's this sense of longing for what once was because it's uncomfortable when you go through such an immense change so suddenly. And that's ultimately the thing about this year is that everything has happened so fast that I haven't really had time to unpack everything, which is why making a video like this kind of gives me that opportunity to do so. And even though I did reflect upon things in the previous video, I kind of want to expand upon that, touch on the fact that, hey, quite frankly, this is a new time. There's a lot of newness and I have to learn how to embrace that and be appreciative and grateful for what once was last year and, and, and years prior but understand that these are memories, those are memories that I can hold on to. And that's very important, that's very necessary. I'm so grateful for that time, but nothing in life is permanent. And that's the, the harsh reality is that things just happen like that sometimes. And we kind of take for granted how quickly it can occur. Something like moving or meeting someone and then this spiral effect of the butterfly effect and everything just expands and grows as a seed is planted. A seed that just, you decided one day, hey, I'm just gonna plant this, you know? It's just gonna be right here, not thinking much of it, but then it grows and harvests, and all of a sudden, everything is just blooming, and you're like, what the hell? What, what happened? I miss a lot of people from back home, back at my previous home, uh, friends, my family, and just the times where I'll be sitting around here, because I'm still searching for a job, and I'm still trying to settle in here, where I'll be sitting down and thinking, well, I should hit up you know, Alex, right? I should hit up this friend or that friend and we should hang out today, tonight. Then I realize, oh yeah, I'm not there anymore. I moved out, I'm in a whole new place and I still am trying to make friends and meet people. And that's a goal that I should try to aspire to, to achieve. That's the thing, I have to be able to say, okay, that all is kind of in the past. I'm not saying like people, I still wanna love the people who I've always had as friends, but obviously I can't see them to the extent that I once did. So now I gotta figure out a way to build up that new structure and the foundation. One thing about the last few years that I'll always have are the books that I wrote and published and also the videos that I've made. It's, it's a canvas and a, a real view into who I was these last few years. I haven't really read all of my books, to be honest, but I did go back and read the first one, and there's already some things that I'm, I'm looking at, like, oh yeah, I forgot that this happened. Oh yeah, I remember that little thing. And it's only been three years since I wrote that first book, and I can only imagine when it's like 20 or 30 years ahead. And that's to kind of circle back where I refer to the memories. It's supposed to be a jumble, a semblance of memories that we obtain throughout life, but it's not supposed to be this constant thing, you know, where we're living in the same house with the same people and going to the same school job for 80 years of our life. 
things are supposed to evolve and that's where the memories kind of generate value. 20, 30 years from now, who knows where I'll be or where anybody will be, but I'm just saying, I can only imagine sitting down when I'm 50 years old, reading the things I was writing and thinking about and doing at the age of 21 and, and when I was 21 journaling this stuff so personally and openly and thinking, man, like, I remember that, what a time. And that will be a flood of nostalgia. And those are the memories. And this is something in life that I find so important is to make these memories. And I'm not saying that if you live in one house, you can't have memories until you move out. But I think you guys can kind of get a, a general consensus of what I'm ultimately saying here is that they really do mean that much more once they're gone. We don't tend to truly take everything in or appreciate it until it's gone. That's when you start to feel the sense of longing for something, longing for that previous home, longing for that person, their parents, those friends, those family members that job or whatever it was, it's hard, bro. It's, it's, it's difficult to just let go of all of that, but I have to. You know, I can think about it here and there, just reflecting and missing, reminiscing, but I have to find it in me to understand that this is a new time, it's a new chapter. And if I don't embrace it, I'm gonna get caught up in the past. For one, maybe I'll generate old habits that I don't like that I've tried to work on to overcome, but also I won't be able to embrace the newness and build up better habits, good habits, learn and grow. Because at the end of the day, this too will one day be a nostalgic time. This too will be one day seen as the good old days. Right now it's the challenge. Right now it's, I gotta figure this out. I gotta do this, it's stressing me out. But again, when I think back to a few years ago, I laugh at those challenges that I was facing, not because you know it was all easy and whatnot, but because it's not really there anymore. It's, a, it's the past. It's like, ah, oh, I remember dealing with this issue. I remember trying to resolve this problem that I was facing in my waking life. And now it's a different circumstance that I find myself under, a place that I couldn't have envisioned myself being three years ago, moving out, having a relationship, buying my first car. It's something that I have to learn how to embrace but i also am accepting of the fact that that does take time and the homesickness is quite frankly only natural i've learned so much this year and i think one of the true realizations i've uncovered over the past year not just in 2024 but you know over the past 12 months i suppose is that i am really capable of a lot of things more capable than i might assume of taking on the challenges that govern adulthood Yes, there's a lot that I still have to learn and go through and struggle with and fight with in order to keep growing, but here I am. I am fully capable of achieving goals. I'm fully capable of handling responsibilities around the house and in life, my career, uh, personal growth, relationships. I feel like I'm at that point. I don't necessarily think that it's like, oh, I'm, a I'm an adult now. I'm a man. No question about it. No boy is, in it is left. Like, no inner child is left. It's, it's just straight manhood at this point. No, we have to have that part of us that still is like a teenage boy. We have that part of us that's that child, you know, that connects with that part of ourselves. It's more so that we just enter a new phase and learn how to harness the responsibilities and keep growing and keep evolving. But sometimes there'll be that angsty teenager that comes out and is wanting complete solitude and nothing to do with people, doesn't want to talk to anybody. Sometimes it'll be that boy that wants to go, I don't know, fuck around with all of his surroundings, go play sports, do all the things that I used to do as a child. Because it's not like these aspects or components of ourselves are forgotten, they are simply developed and matured and harnessed. I'm still that boy, I'm still that person that I was when I was a kid, but I've just evolved, I've learned, I've matured, I've grown, and I'm still going through all of those things in that process, but, and I, I feel like a different person even though I'm not. I don't think there's that one point where you fully become a man. I feel like I'm willing and ready to take on the challenges and the responsibilities that constitutes adulthood and manhood. And so if that's by definition is what you would say, then I suppose here I am. Gratitude is what goes a long way too. And it's like, hey, I am here, I am moved out. I have so much in front of me in the form of opportunities. Now that I'm in my first relationship and in love, it's 
something that I also feel like I've taken for granted. Like, dude, I used to long for this so heavily. I used to go on these night walks and think about, am I ever gonna find like that person? Am I ever gonna get into a relationship? And it seemed like something that might happen, but it was also so far out. And then boom, it just occurs. And so it's something I'm trying to appreciate and not take for granted as well. And that is quite literally the case for everything going on. Regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and understand where I'm coming from. Much love to all of you. Good vibes. Will from Shadow Ascent, signing out.